What is going on guys, Carlos here from Live Game in Paradise. We are back again with another episode of Splatoon 3 and this time we're going to go and defeat the first boss in this game and you're going to need 1000 eggs in order to unlock this bit of uh, fluffy corruption here. So uh, if you haven't got 1000 eggs you're going to need to go back and redo maybe one of your levels that you didn't quite get everything. Uh, because you're going to need a thousand in order to uh, go down to the bottom and defeat DJ Octavio, which is going to be your next boss. The boss itself is not very difficult. I will explain to you what needs to be done. It took me quite a while to actually work out what I needed to do, and I was just running around from side to side. Finally worked out what I needed to do, and but it took me quite a while to do this, uh, this video, obviously, because um, the first part I was just running around. I wasn't reading what uh, messages were saying, and there's some crucial bits in the messages telling you, you know, giving you hints of what you need to do. So DJ Octavio is our next boss, or our first boss, uh, and uh, we're going to defeat it, and it won't take very long, it's not very difficult, it's like batches of free, so you need to get him out of this um, DJ booth robot, um, Octobot King L3GS apparently, that's what it is, and uh, you need to get him out, so you need to hit him three times in order to get him out, and then uh, you need to hit him once, and then he will go back inside of, of the. Uh, it will go back inside of the of the robot, and you're gonna have to hit him another three times to get him out. So you need to do this three times. So it's like a sequence of three. So what you need to do, you need to shoot that hand while it's in midair. So exactly like this, three times. See that he went back and he hit him again one time. So he's gonna move places now and uh, we're gonna have to do this three times and then you will get kicked out of that robot thing and uh, that's when you um, that's when you can attack him um, try to get away from the hands that are spinning in the air like a, like a I don't know like a, a spinning tornado kind of kind of thing and uh, he will change midway as well so there you go that's the third time that you kick him out here you go and then you just have to shoot him while he's in here and uh, you'll go back inside so that's one time done so now we're going to need to do the same thing the same sequence three times as to get him out of that robot again but now he's got a vacuum cleaner so he's vacuuming all of this paint that you're putting on the, on the floor on this ink and uh, you need to find a way to actually stop him from vacuuming so when he starts vacuuming throw your little guy and you'll go into the vacuum head and uh, you'll block it so now you can uh, attack him or you can kind of like push his hand back in the air his fist back in the air so you so you can attack him because he's not sucking anymore this will be temporary there you go that's the first one this will be temporary because you will be able to like spit your little friend out and uh, you're gonna need to redo it again wait for him to start vacuuming and then throw your little friend again for the moment it's okay it's what well, it's in red flashing and he's like uh, shaking um, that's your yeah, second hand but then you will you will do it oops small fry got launched back out so you need to redo it again so when he, once he starts um, once he starts vacuuming again then you're gonna throw your little friend one more time and uh, there you go and then you will go and get stuck one more time there didn't go in time to get this hand back to him to fist back to him just need to do it one more time there you go it's coming to us so now we're gonna shoot him one more time and there you go so actually i'm missing one time because it, it wasn't it wasn't a fist it was a uh, one of these drill things so get away from the drill things and wait for him to um to uh throw like the fist and uh, that's when you can shoot the fist in midair and it will get it punched back to him like punching um still not the drill it's not the right one and uh, for the time being it's still okay because it's still like shaking and it's red so that means that he's not sucking anything in there we go that's our third hand uh, and that should uh, get him out of that pod and there you go so this is the second time we did this so we got one more time and then we'll be able to kill him uh, so we need to do this back back again and he's going to change once again so he's going to change more now and he's going to send out like a, a hand to smack down with the hand and that will create like a, a kind of a vibration uh, and you need to jump over it the first time I didn't really understand what I needed to do but when he throws that hand all you need to do when the vibration comes around 
you just have to jump over it. So that's my first fist sent back to him. And uh, now we're going to have to wait for him to move over to the other side. Still okay with my little friend still blocking the vacuum. And uh, now we're going to need to wait for him to send it again. And now it's going to be the drill, so get out of the way. And we just have to wait for the drill to go back, or the hand to go back. And uh, he's going to throw the hand again, like smack down. So all you need to do here... I didn't do it in here as well, I just got hit by it, but all you need to do is like it causes like a vibration You just need to jump over it when it gets to you. It's as simple as that it Took me a while to work out that as well. So now he's going to send the drill one more time So we're gonna get out of the way one more time and shoot this hand so we can go back to him quicker and Then he's gonna throw the fist. So that's gonna be our second one and then we've only got one more and then we'll be able to get rid of him. But I think on the last time that he smacked down, so he sent the hand to smack down and create that uh, that vibration or that earthquake sort of thing. Um, yeah, there you go. He's going to do it now. So all you need to do is what I do in this bit here. So you can see the vibration is coming towards you and just jump over it and that's it. You won't get hurt. And uh, now we just have to wait for him to send back that uh, fist. Uh, obviously the little guy wasn't in there but uh, I had to cut this little bit because it's just getting too long there's one more time that we need to hit him because uh, because he was vacuuming at the time that I hit the last hand so uh, he's gonna throw the drill one more time let's get out of the way uh, the little guy is still blocking the vacuum and then we'll just have to wait for him to uh, to do the fist one more time here we go so this should be the last uh, time I hit that fist and it's coming out and that is it. He's done now So uh, that's how you defeat uh, DJ Octavio uh, It's it's a bit tricky at times and if you don't know what you're doing you can get a little bit messy because um, it, it does just you know it changes and uh, the messages come at the time that you're trying to get away from from his uh, shots and from his hand and stuff and fist so you need to kind of like uh, try and read the messages. I think that was one of the, my problems not reading the messages in time The messages would disappear and I didn't know what to do, but it actually explains to you in the messages what you need to do and uh, How you can defeat the boss. So if you read the messages, that's exactly what it says So I guess this is it for this video guys Thank you very much for watching if you did like this video or if this video helped you Please give us a like consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this I'll be back again with some more Splatoon 3 very very soon so thanks again for watching, see you in the next one, goodbye.